This screencast will install the Kindle application that lets you read ebooks on your Windows machine even if you do not have a Kindle. First, we'll open a web browser. I open Firefox by clicking on the icon with the left mouse button. When Firefox comes up, I'm going to go to Amazon. Amazon.com slash Kindle for PC. K-I-N-D-L-E-F-O-R-P-C. I hit enter. And this takes us straight to the Amazon page where you can download the Kindle for PC application. If you had not uh, known that exact address, you could have simply gone to Amazon and in their search box search for Kindle for PC. Let's download it now. Now this says download now for Windows 7, Vista, and XP. There are other Kindle applications for other types of computers, but since we're demonstrating this on Windows 7, this is the one we want. Left click on download now. You have chosen to open Kindle for PC installer.exe. That's just what we want. We're going to save the file by left clicking on save file. It gives me a ch choice of where to put it. I'm going to put it in the downloads directory. The name of the file is Kindle for PC installer.exe. That's fine. I'll save it right here in the downloads directory. Click the save button. Kindle for PC installer.exe already exists. Do you want to replace it? Well, yes, I do. You see, it already exists because I'd previously downloaded and installed it. But we're going to go through all of that, so I'll, I'll save over it. You wouldn't get this if it was the first time you had downloaded it. So I click yes. Go ahead and overwrite the one that already exists. Firefox opens the downloads window, and we see the progress as it's saving it to the disk. We know we stored it in the downloads directory, and we could go to that directory to double click on it to start the installation. However, because we have Firefox set up to leave the downloads window open after it downloads a file, we don't even have to go there to the, to the downloads directory. We can double click right here in Firefox. Kindle for PC installer.exe. We'll double click with the left mouse button. That starts the installation process. We're going to click Run or Yes or OK on just about everything it asks us. Do you want to run this file? Yes. Click Run. Okay. It opened it, and because it knew who I was already, it had my account information, it opened a list of the books that I have on Kindle. Those are books that I have on my real Kindle, but it keeps track of that, and I can, I can download those from the Kindle for PC application and read them on the PC. This works even if you don't have a real Kindle. So I'm now going to close the Downloads window for Firefox. I'm going to close Firefox. That's how you install Kindle for PC. It puts a, an icon on your desktop. You can also, if you, if you uh, were to delete that for some reason, you can click on the Start button and type Kindle and see what comes up. One of them is going to be this, Kindle for PC. So to start that, click there, or click there, or double click there. So let's click here. 
And here it is with a lot of different books that are already there in my Kindle. Uh, we can see the downloaded items, and we can see the archived items, and so forth. And we can see the books that are borrowed, and, and, and on and on. So that's how to install Kindle for PC. In another screencast, we'll show how to move a book to it when you when someone sends you a an ebook or when you generate your own ebook from your right from your manuscript if you're an author well that's all for this screencast